मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई एम वेटी शेल्वी फ्रॉम वेटी एंड वेटी नी केमिस्ट्री कोचिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द फ्रॉम द लेसन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री ट्वेल्थ सीबीएसई बोर्ड ट्रिक टू फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द ट्रिक फर्स्ट आई एम टेलिंग व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस द मीनिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस इन द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट यू पास द करंट कैटियन मोस्ट कैथोड एनियन मोस्ट एनोड देन दे आर गोइंग टू डिस्चार्ज और replace so this is the process of electrolysis today we are going to so what are the things are based on this the product is depends upon number one products depend upon nature of their substance whether it is going to electrolyte or not this is the nature of the substance second point is based on concentration of the solution third point is nature of the electrode so based on this we are going to get the product so during electrolysis the products are depend upon these things nature of the substance whether it is the electrolyte or not so this is very important point electrolyte or non electrolyte if it is electrolyte mean you can take sodium chloride non electrolyte mean you can take as a urea glucose sucrose etc so based on this is the first point second point concentration what are the way you can divide this one is it is aqueous or you can call it as a dilute electrolyte second one is concentrated so either one of this condition the products may be vary the third point nature of the electrode electrode we are having two types one is call it as a inert electrode another is call it as a active electrode inert electrode mean the electrode is platinum palladium nickel any one of the electrode in the any solution that is the electrolyte whereas active electrode means the metal in metal that is copper in copper sulfate solution then what is it called any one zinc in zinc sulfate solution silver in silver ions so the metal in the same solution is called as a active electrode this metal that is called as a platinum palladium any one in any salt solution is called as a inert electrode so with that i am point out three things the product depends upon nature of the substance whether the solution is electrolyte is dilute or concentration or the third point is based on the nature of the electrode now let us see the how the products are going to get it based on this each heading we are going to discuss now let us see the depends upon the conditions yes the first criteria for this is now during electrolysis what are the product or what are the changes we are going to get in the at cathode so at cathode what are the things first at cathode cation most cathode cation is positive so cathode is negative at cathode what is going on reduction the syndicate is reduction what is reduction it is the gain of electron so these things you keep it in the mind whenever you are doing what the work at the cathode now here at the anode what is going to get at the anode is what are the things here minus means anode positive the process is oxidation and this is called as a loss of electron so whenever you are writing you be you have to think all the things okay now first point we are going to see at the cathode the reduction is going to take place mean whichever things are having more reduction potential okay the any material which is having more reduction potential more reduction potential will be followed the will be potential will be reduced this is the first point at cathode reduction mean anything having more reduction potential will be reduced at anode first point oxidation so same thing whichever having more oxidation potential whichever having more oxidation potential will be here will be oxidized 
So you have to think of comparative statement of oxidation potential as well as here reduction potential. This is the first condition. Second condition or the fact is reduction potential of this I will write like this. This is reduction reduction potential of this is for understanding only I am writing in the exam paper you have to write full spelling. Reduction potential of water is greater than reduction potential of reduction potential of first, second and thirteen group elements. Okay, let us see what are the members of first mean alkali metal, alkali earth metal and the thirteenth group is what is it called boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium. So comparing this thing you are water is having more reduction potential means water will be reduced. Okay, next to third point is what is the reduction of your your water for that I will write the equation water you write the two molecules of water reduce it gives hydrogen plus here O will come as a what is it we have it is OH now this is the minus here how many hydrogens are there okay this yes okay here two four hydrogens yes two yes this is this is the reaction going on when water is getting reduced the reaction is very important frequently they are asking this reaction in the competitive exam so water during reduction, it gives hydrogen. You can check gain of electron. Verify the oxidation potential of your hydrogen. Here it is plus 1. Here it is 0. So that is water is reduced. Everything is correct. Okay. Now let us see here in this condition. Oxidation potential of here. Oxidation potential of water. Oxidation potential of water is greater than oxidation potential of oxidation potential of sulfate sulfite and your what is it called as a hypo ion so your oxidation potential of water is there mean water will be getting oxidized let us write the equation of oxidation of your water it gives what is it gives oxygen as a gas Oxidation, loss of electron and you are having how many hydrogen? 4 H plus and here what is it called as a electron? Yes, so how many electrons are it should be containing? 2 oxygen, 4 so it is 4 electrons. So now this is the reaction for your oxidation of your water. This reaction also important. This is reduction of your water so this is also very very important for mcq questions now the third condition is the reduction potential of reduction potential of potential of water is less than to whom in less than elements elements other than other than that is your first second and 13 group. Example if you want to I mean you can take copper that is belonging to the group number is this is belonging to group number 11. If you are having copper and water I mean it will be getting reduced. Let us see here in this condition the last point is here oxidation potential of oxidation potential of water is here greater mean less than Oxidation potential of oxidation potential of what are the things here the fluorine one thing is here to include here it is very very important here is comparative your halogen oxidation potential of chloride Br and I minus so with that the criteria what are the things should be followed finally I am, to the point I am giving simply what the competition is between water and first second thirteen group in water will be reduced. The water with the other group mean the other group will be reduced in the case of a cathode. At the anode, water with this one is water is oxidized and gives the oxygen. Water with this one is even these things will be chloride, bromide and they are getting oxidized and gives is corresponding things. So this is the 
Great. In the next video, I will give the examples. Thank you, children.